deadliest weekends of the year on Indiana highways is coming up. The state police are responding by starting a new campaign to slow down speeding drivers. That's one car length for that car. Okay, the other one I've clocked you for almost three miles at 71 mile an hour. Of 962 fatal accidents in Indiana last year, 235 were blamed on excessive speed. Only drinking drivers accounted for more. State police hope to get the message across, speed kills. If you travel speed limit, they're just going to pass you anymore. I'm traveling speed limit now, and look, you can just see that they have less respect for the police nowadays, I feel, and I don't know what the problem with that is. Photographer Les Jarrett and I rode with Trooper Ron McDougall around the east side of the city. We found speeding violations worst in construction zones, while rural 65 mile an hour areas, speeds were pretty close to the law. Everybody seems to more or less obey the 65 a lot more than they do the 55. It seems like a lot of people drive 55 or 65 and 55. And when it comes to speeding on Indiana highways, who is it that's speeding and why? Most of them are either late for work or or they've got to get, they've got too many things to do or they a lot of them got these fuzz busters nowadays and they feel that if it's not going to go off, they're not going to get caught. Well, you know, in the state of Indiana, we've got I believe it's 300 fast car pluses which do not send out a beam, and, and the ones with a little bit more money have a tendency of speeding a little bit more, because they can afford it. Last year in Indiana, 13 people died over the July 4th holiday weekend. The expert this year predict nine deaths, and more than 300 state troopers will be on patrol in an effort to lower that number. Busy weekend coming up. Now we know what we can do and what we can't do, That's but right. will the weather...